Hello everyone, this is Christopher, and I'm here today at Lake Suwa in Nagano, Japan. Uh, fortunately, my lighting is horrible, but uh, bear with me. So this is uh, a power spot. Uh, I'm on the 14th floor of the Hotel Benia, and uh, one of the, well, there, there are several things that draw people to this area the lake behind me, if you can make it out with the lighting issues that I'm having, and hot springs. Uh, for example, there's a natural hot spring on this floor that I'm speaking to you from, and you can basically sit in the bath and look at this wonderful view behind me. And then another draw of this place is that the lake has a path that uh, it's a dedicated jogging, cycling, and walking path entirely around the perimeter. So let me try to show you some of that without me. But uh, this path is 16 kilometers around the entire perimeter of the lake, which is 10 miles. And that's one of the things that brings me to this wonderful spot every time. Uh, this is just a, a little extra bit to show you the uh, jogging and walking and cycling road that goes around this wonderful lake. And uh, one of the things that I forgot to mention previous in the previous uh, take was that uh, one of the other big parts of the, the power spot um, uh, essence of Sua is multiple shrines in this area that are major pilgrimage spots. So I'd like to wrap up this video with just a small take of one of the shrines that I visited on this trip. And now I'm at Akimiya. Uh, one of the main shrines in the Sua area. And uh, besides this being a power spot, another aspect of Sua as a power spot that I forgot to mention was that it is the birthplace of a lot of very famous companies in Japan, including Seiko Epson, which still has, has its headquarters in Sua. And there's a very nice museum uh, very close to this shrine that has a lot of uh, uh, history of the local companies. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon. Matane.